There's coupons at Ulta. Use it. <laughs> impression video and it is going to be over in your mascara that is just launched not too long ago <laughs> and it is going to be the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara with Manny MUA up on the not the cover but like on the little you know promotion thing you know what I'm saying so I'm super excited to try it the packaging looks so pretty I'm not the biggest fan of Maybelline mascaras so we shall see if this one does me good or not so before we get started if you did not know I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday so if you're not subscribed hit that button down below so you can see this weirdo some mo why did I say that word? <laughs> so, let's get on to the video. Um, you will see a huge makeup haul on my channel probably next week. Because I'm waiting for some stuff to come up in the mail. And this will be in that haul. So, it might be opened in that haul because <laughs> I'm about to use it all, okay? <laughs> it just says, lashes go so powerful, fully loaded, volume in one coat. We shall see. But here is the product. And I did get the non-waterproof uh, version because I don't really like waterproof mascaras in my opinion. Um, but this is how it looks and I'm super excited. I'm 8 out of 10, so I'll root to tip volume instantly. I really do hate when mascaras only give me volume and not length. Also, I do have longer lashes so I don't need the length in mascaras but I like them you know what I'm saying for that dramatic effect <laughs> um but ooh, this packaging is so pretty like oh. I normally don't like Maybelline mascaras because their wands are not the rubber kind of wands um L'Oreal has a lot of rubber wands which work for my lashes best um so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the kind of wand I like because it is not the brand I typically use. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see, we're gonna see, okay? Oh, heck yes, heck yes. It's one of those rubber wands. Yes, I'm all about it. Love it so much. And the bristles are very short and then go a little bit longer towards the, you know, over here. <laughs> um, but for the most part, they're all pretty short. So I'm so excited, I'm so excited because I just don't like brushes that have like that natural kind of one. It doesn't give me enough control because I do have long lashes. I need a lot more control. I believe like the original Colossal has the other type of bristles. How many times did I say bristles in the last 20 seconds? <laughs> I'm gonna use my e.l.f. mascara and shadow shield. It's dirty because I've had it for a few years now. Um, but I hate not using this because it's just it's harder to apply mascara. I always get it on my lids because my lashes will touch my lids and it's just it's always harder. And this little shield helps you really get it on your lashes without, you know, obviously ruining your makeup. But it helps you really make sure you get all the lashes coated. So it feels a little bit more drier, like on the drier side, but it's still almost in between because it's still not super liquidy, but you know, it's not like they're, the their real mascara. I feel like that mascara is really, really dry. So far, it looks like it's only giving me a lot of length, not so much of the volume. Um, so yeah, like my lashes look pretty skinny. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't really look like the picture that is on the little box down here. I will just always compare mascaras to my Miss Mango Rock mascara. That is my all-time favorite. They discontinued the rock version, so I don't know if the regular Miss Mango version is any similar. But I did stock up on a few from Amazon on the rock version. <laughs> so that one just gives me tons of volume and tons of length. And sometimes you have to be careful that it doesn't give you like the spider lash where you have like four lashes, you know, <laughs> um, but you can always take, you know, a more defining brush and separate them, which I love, but it still gives me so much volume. 
this I feel like just gives me a lot of length in my opinion so we're gonna try a second layer once this one dries which I don't ever do with my Miss Mango Roth it's a one and done layer kind of process with that mascara and this one already looks like I have to do another layer to just attempt to get that kind of volume so yeah we're gonna go ahead with the other eye and then we're gonna wait for them to dry so I could do the second layer What I'm going to do is before this eye dries, I'm going to go in with the second layer and see how that works because I feel like when I wait for it to dry, it doesn't do a lot much more, you know what I mean? Like, whoa, whoa, dude. All right. So if you can see, that gave me a lot of more length than the first layer did oh my god like i still only have one layer over here and then now i have two um oh shit it gave me so much length i feel like it's really really like i don't know it's kind of like skinny spider legs like i'm not really a fan of the skinny spider legs like if i'm gonna have spider legs i want them thick you know what i'm saying i'm going to go in not with a complete full layer, but since this one is dry over here, I'm going to try to thicken up the length of my um, lashes. Just because it looks a little funky because they're so thin. And I'm not touching the base or anything, I'm just touching the length of it. Oh no, that was not a good idea. This, is, this side looks really weird over here. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but... Just looks a little funky. <laughs> um, but when I went into the that other layer with this one, it just started to look too much. Like, too much. But they look kind of, like, fake. They, I mean, which is kind of good, I guess, what you, if that's what you want. Just going in with this layer now that it's dry. Did this eye two layers, waited for it to dry for the first layer, then applied the second one. This one, I did two layers also, but I didn't wait for it to dry between the layers. And I kind of like the this side better um, when you wait for the <laughs> wait in between layers, um, which I've never tried a mascara, which I've liked when waiting in between layers um, because it's just harder to apply that second coat when it's really dry and your your wand doesn't, you know, go through the lashes and stuff as easily, obviously, because there's product on it. But I feel like it gives you more volume when you wait in between the layers rather than when you go and just go crazy when it's still wet. Depends on what kind of look you are going for. If you're trying to accomplish the length, then I would not wait for the layers to dry. But if you are trying to get the volume, then I would wait in between layers. It did give you volume. As you can see, when I look to the side, you can see all of that volume. Um, yeah, it does give you volume, um, but just nothing will beat my Miss Mango Rock Mascara. This is probably my second favorite mascara now. And I haven't had a second favorite in a while because obviously the Miss Mango Rock one has been my tried and true, the love of my life. <laughs> um, but this one is really actually nice. It really is surprising me that how much I like it. Um, I think it has to do a lot with the formula. Like when they're like right in between or maybe if they're even more liquidier, I prefer those. Um, just because I have more time to mess with my lashes and... When they're dry, I just I just don't know how people like dry mascaras. I don't know. This one is nice in between. It's a little bit more drier than it is more wet, but it's still a nice in between good, you know, right in between the wet and dry. A little bit more to the dry, but it's still nice in between. I really do like this mascara if you do have you know problems with trying to get volume i would definitely try this one out you do look to the side too you can see the volume oh shit look at that look at it <laughs> hopefully you guys like this video and if you did please give it a big old thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe hit that button down below so you can see this weirdo some
<laughs> so yeah hopefully this video was helpful if you were trying to decide if you wanted to buy it or not i say give it a try anyways i will see you guys next time bye